In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the uh, content carousel, otherwise known as a Netflix slider. And you can find this in your block library by either searching Netflix, or you can search for content, or you can search for the word carousel, uh, or whatever. But uh, if we drag on the content carousel onto the screen, uh, you'll see by default it will spin up and start showing us events. Uh, with the image and you know the text and some of the details about the dates and things like that. Now, um, uh, what I want to do is uh, change this so that instead of loading an event, we actually want to load uh, video podcasts. So let's see the video podcast that we've got, and you can see along here that we've got um, a whole bunch of podcasts. But now the image is not showing. And the reason for that is because um, uh, this is loading the item main image, which is a field that is on an event, but it's not on uh, our video podcast. So I'm just going to come down here. Uh, I'm going to change a few settings. I'm going to get rid of the fields here. Uh, if, we, if we don't specify any fields, then this should load all the fields. So let's just check that by going into our template, call that a pre-tag. And we'll just check what details we've got for the item. And yeah, it looks like we've got plenty of information here. So uh, I'm going to do item.data just so that I can see what kind of data I've got. I've got the speaker's name and a couple of other things there. And I've also got the event that it was at and the series that it was, uh, it was for and things like that. So that's cool. So I'll just take note of that, that item.data.speaker. Uh, and we've got our speaker there, and I'm just going to spit that, spit that out uh, down here, and we'll just stick that in the div. And I'm going to use a filter built into Fluoro, which is the comma filter. And here I can say I want the uh, title, I think. And then now we'll see the titles. Of each person separated by a comma so we've got like the speaker there and uh, up here instead of the start date there is no start date on the video so we actually want the data dot recording date and if there's no data dot recording date we will put an or in here and do item dot uh, created date and so we'll get the uh, the date that it was uploaded if if we haven't specified the recording date for it and up in our image area up here, we want to spit out, uh, what have we got? The item is a video. So we actually want to spit out the video, which we can do Fluoro video and pass through item, which is itself the item here. And that will give us the, each of the videos uh, ready to be played. And uh, we can get rid of this, the else image placeholder because every video is going to be a video itself. And uh, if we want to, we can also add some extra content filters. Like we can say we only want to show uh, video podcasts where the title uh, contains characters um, mighty. So if we're building a page and we actually wanted to, you know, whittle it down so it only showed certain things or showed certain videos that are tagged in a certain way or in a certain category or any number of things. You can build really complex filters in here really easily and um, yeah, set up how you want that to look. And then on top of that, I can also choose how I want the, uh, the width of the sliders. So at the moment it's 60% of the screen width. But if I change that to 20%, then that means that we can load a whole bunch more on the screen. If I change to 100%, then it's going to change more to a single kind of uh, slideshow where you go next, 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 uh, that kind of thing. So I'm just going to go back to uh, maybe 30 sounds good, so 30%. And then uh, that's how you can use the Netflix slider. You can do all kinds of customization. You can even customize the entire block and how the Netflix slider works if you want. Um, but there's lots of options in here and you can load literally anything. You can load video podcasts if you like, you can load uh, articles, you can load images, you can load 
uh, your own custom definition types, pages, all that kind of stuff.